Hello folks, the Robazoid, back with yet another video. And this one, well, the story's been out for about a week now, and it has something to do with uh, libs of TikTok versus some so-called journalist, some journalist from the Washington Post who answers to the name of Lorenz, Taylor Lorenz, that is, who's basically been with the Washington Post for some time now, and, well, she's pretty much smeared everybody on the right, from President Trump on down to, pff, who even knows who else on the right she's probably smeared. And, of course, now that, now that they're smearing her, oh, she starts to play the victim, so she starts crying and putting on these crocodile tears. You know, being, I was doxxed, I was murdered, they murdered me. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, maybe it wasn't that quite over the top, but it was pretty bad acting as far as I could see. Uh, <laughs> shall we play a little bit of what happened in that interview? Why not? Everybody needs a good laugh. Single social tie, I had severe PTSD from this. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. And it's so isolating. And terrifying. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. It's, <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's really hard. Incidentally, who's the queer wad that this is with her? I mean, look at this guy. Haircut, bad glasses. This guy is definitely, he ain't straight, let's put it that way. She likes to talk about him, about her PTSD, which as you remember is post-traumatic, is post-Trump, post-Trump's crazy disorder or whatever. <clears throat> yep. And, well, then likes to hide it, dox her own family on the internet, harass them, and so they hit back at her. And so does Libs of TikTok, and she starts crying crocodile tears about it. Come on, lady, you deserve the Razzie for worst actress ever. To say nothing of worst journalist ever. <clears throat> and then we get something like this. Libs of TikTok exposes Taylor Lorenz harassing her family at home. Yes, and apparently she made some sort of Instagram message about it, of which I am not going to play at this time because if it involves more crocodile tears, I'm getting the hell out of here. And she did get a response from somebody named Christina. Yes, I'm a tech reporter at the Washington Post. We are running a, we are running a story exposing the women behind Libs of TikTok account. Our story, on, our story mentions your many into your many into interactions, your many interactions and account of pra and praise of it. <clears throat> if you like to offer comment, please let me know <clears throat> within the next uh, within the next hour. You can give me a ring on. I can't give you the number here. If you prefer, thanks, <clears throat> Taylor. Well, yeah, that was basically her re response to Christina. Like I said, I can't give you the number. That's pretty much classified information. So if you want to believe this nonsense, well, here's what was written in the Washington Post. Taylor Lorenz is an accomplished and diligent reporter whose reporting methods uh, comport, uh, comport entirely uh, with the Washington Post professional standards. Nameless here in her, man in her management uh, of libs of TikTok's account and media interviews, has had a significant impact on public discourse and the identity of him and her identity had some kind of had had some public knowledge of social media which did not publish or link or link to any to any details about her professional life yes says says Cameron Barr senior management and editor at the Washington Post Okay, Cameron, whatever you want to believe, fine with me. But what about the other people that people like you have doxxed? Like, say, for instance... After all, remember Minnie AOC and what the left did to dox her and bully her and her family off the Internet? Keep in mind, she was only eight years old. Yes, the Democrats were bullying an eight-year-old. <clears throat> 
So if they could tear an eight-year-old girl and her family to shreds, well, they could do that to anybody. So who the hell is Taylor Lorenz to cry about everything and pretend to play the victim here? <laughs> and of course, then we have stories like that, which basically the Washington Post lies and it claims they did not publish details about libs of TikTok, about libs of TikTok, personal, personal lives. Yeah, that's a lie on top of a lie, <clears throat> which makes her the worst liar in history. Anyway, everything that you've read in that Washington Post article, of course, was absolute bullshit. And of course, well, yeah, according to this article of here that we've got from the Joe Rogan show, yeah, none of what was said in the Washington Post was true. And that's a fact. Yep. So basically, she also made charges like Mr. Beast is a homophobe. Well, who the hell is Mr. Beast, huh? Is he a real person? I mean, as if not, then I don't then I don't really care, quite frankly, unless Mr. Beast is supposed to be. Ah, what a shame, Taylor. It's a real pity when you can't handle the taste of your own medicine. This pity. In which case, to me, then that still makes no never mind to me. Anyway, this has been the Robozoid saying, it's been a lot of fun making fun of this weepy little crybaby, Taylor Lorenz, <clears throat> and also laughing at her crocodile tears, just as one should. And I apologize. I'm a little hoarse. I'm a little bit hoarse only because of my allergies. You know, that's the price you pay for living in North Carolina. So, this has been the Robozoid saying, I'll see you sometime around soon for my next video. When that will be... I don't know, but I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.